Last time I came on this way, these things were just sitting on the ground. Now they're sitting on the ground, but they've got some flora growing all around it. Yeah, you almost, I almost didn't even see them as I walked by. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but this is uphill. The slap of the feet on the ground. That's the big indicator. And all the ferns and stuff, that's a real good sign of moisture, from what I understand. A kind of a, a sort of a more tropic-like uh, biosystem, or whatever the hell they call that, where things grow. And if you remember, I was telling you about the thorny three-leafed goodies, like these right here. I don't know. Yeah, like those, where's my foot? There it is, okay, right there. You know what they're mimicking? Very, very much similar looking to uh, the blackberry bush, which is in abundance around here. You can have, around here, I mean, in this, in this area, more regionally speaking, I'm not seeing a whole bunch of the blackberry bushes right now, but uh, it's, has a very similar appearance. This uh, this three-leaf jobby and uh, the blackberry bush. And wouldn't that be funny if I find out that those three-leaf things that I've been worried about are, are indeed blackberries, except they're just sort of missing the berries. And I I wouldn't believe that. I I have seen it at a little bit lower elevation, and this, these bushes are just chock full of berries right now, and that I don't see. Okay, well, you get sort of a four corners thing here. And uh, the sign is, uh, says it's uh, Marin Municipal Water District, Mount Tamalpas Watershed. And I think, well, just so you know, I came from that direction right now. But uh, last time I was here, I believe I walked up um, from this direction here. And I did not go up that road, which says it's closed to vehicles. And I'm pretty sure I went straight right across the way here and got down to the reservoir. That's what we're going to do. And uh, hopefully I'm right. And then when I come back, we'll head back that way and make the loop over to Lindy's place. I hope. And if not, I'm heading back this way to where I know that I can come to another little road and get back. So, as you can see, look at this grassy hay junk, and it's uh, very, very dry, and uh, that's why I'm not even considering starting up a pipe. All I need is one itty-bitty little stupid spark to get out of it and flame on. Yeah, I don't want to be the one from Canada causing the fire in California, you know? That would be kind yeah, of... I might want to see the last bit of an approach down to the reservoir. As we march along here, there's been a couple of decision-making intersections, but uh, logic said keep going down. I am, and I'm going to be here at the reservoir area momentarily. Yeah, and I can actually see through the trees right now, and it, it looks like it's down a little bit from the, the amount of water it should have. <clears throat> you know, I could go down there, but I have decided I'm going to go up this way. Take a gander. Maybe I will go down there. But it's just a different different way of doing it. There we go. Alright. 
Oh, yes. Somebody put my roller skates on me without me looking. Holy mackerel, that's what I have my stick here for, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't want to fall down when you're wearing a kilt, boy, I can tell you that. Oh, yes. Oh, scrape your ass right big time. All right, here we are. The Reservoir, and until I find out what the heck the name of it is, because I can't remember. Uh, yeah. Da 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 da. Yeah, and it sure looks like it can use some more water, eh? Maybe I'll have a piss here in a second and help fill it up some. Whew. Yeah, I guess, uh, I don't know how many of you guys looked at reservoirs before, but <laughs> if naturally you don't see the dam section of the reservoir. Uh, that's uh, to our right and around the corner. Well, it's very pleasant, very quiet, except for somebody yakking into this video uh, recorder. And it looks like you could launch a, right down there, it looks like this, this little roadway here is wide enough to accommodate a, a trailer and a boat of some kind and you know, launch yourself into the, onto the ocean. Yeah. So once I find out the name, I'll put it in on the annotation or something. The something Reservoir. Yeah, I thought I could have a smoke down here, but it's still pretty dry looking. I thought there would be less grass growing around it, but let's go right down there and stand in the water up to my waist. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Now for the hump home. That's going to be a, a treat. Because it's all uphill. <laughs> Where's that elevator? Okay, so yep, here we are. I was uh, coming from this direction that you see this uh, pathway going and uh, on the fire road or whatever it's called, access road, and then I am traipsing down this one. This is coming the, going to kind of complete a loop uh, going back this way towards that, that, uh, that, that ravine, I guess you can say, where I initially started from, walking from my sister's place. And uh, that'll complete the, today's Today's walk, <clears throat> it's definitely getting a little later, according to this, it's about five, quarter after five, and uh, the sun's sinking a bit over there, the little mountains a bit over there, so it's starting to cool off some. It's still quite warm, just so you know, it's not going to get British Columbia cool off, but uh, it is definitely going to get a little bit more tolerable. It got pretty warm today. But this is the, the single path. You can see in relation to my feet sees down here where it, it is. So it's, uh, it's just a single path and it's going to take us back over to uh, my sister's shack. Yeah. And that will be the end of this sojourn today. I'm already thinking about warming up the Chinese food that uh, we had yesterday for, for din din. Getting that going is enough for at least one more meal. But we'll see how it goes. And something cool to drink other than my thing of water that I've been carrying with me. I didn't open up the old duels yet and I figure it's probably too warm by now anyway to really enjoy it. So I'll wait till I get back and get frosty mug out of the freezer and pour something refreshing in that and have a good time. But I wanted you to see what the trail looked like as we wend our way around back to the small village, the Blinktown of Lagunitas, California. 
on this ninth day of August 2009, a Sunday early evening. Happy World! Don't you feel like singing that song? Okay, later on boys and girls. <laughs>